Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ninja Edits here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect. You are done when I say you're done. You are done when I say you're done. So as you guys can see, when the player is about to shoot in, the the clip rotates like swirls. Let's go to a frame where it happens. It swirls like this, and the RGB channels are splitting. They're not like the red, green, and red, green, and blue aren't really where they're supposed to be. This effect looks good, I in my opinion. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this effect. So first thing you want to do is put your clip into a new composition, just like that. And now you want to split where he's about to shoot in. So right here. Uh, to split, you want to press Control, Shift, and D, and then go over to where he's finished shooting, and Control, Shift, and D again. Delete this part and delete this part. Now go to the beginning and snap your clip. Boom. And now you want to trim the whole composition to just your clip. Right now my whole composition is my clip. Now to do this effect you need the sapphire plugins like uh, the distort, adjust, whatever, whatever. Either I, I think you need to pay for them or you can get them on your own. So yeah you need them. So first thing you need to do is right click on your split clip, uh, well whatever clip, and you need to go to time and enable time remapping. What time remapping does is whenever you make a keyframe and move it, it either slows down that part of the clip or it either quickens it. So what we're going to do is go to when he's just about to zoom in, so right around here, make a keyframe, and then go to the end where he's his his scope just meets his eye right there, and then hit the keyframe, and then we're going to go over to where he right there when he's about to zoom out and then make another keyframe. Now grab these two keyframes and move them over to the right. Uh, let's see how slow that is with the RAM preview. So uh, I think it's a good speed, sure. And now with these two keyframes in the back you want to go over, go to the, the keyframe where he's just zoomed in, go over two frames with control and the arrow keys and then move this over. So now his zoom in is basically like not visible. So let me zoom in preview for this for you guys so you can see. Like it's it's slowed it slowed down the zoom in and then it doesn't show where his scope meets his eye. This is what you want. So now we're gonna uh, hit this film right here. It's uh, when you hover your mouse over it, it says enable frame blending for all frames. This will make the and time remapping look a little better. So now you want to make an adjustment layer, and to that you need to hit Control, Alt, and Y. Now in your effects presets, look up an effect called S underscore Warp Chroma. Oh, uh, like I, as I said, this is in the Sapphire plugins, so you need to buy them. Sorry, but I can't give them to you. Now in the plugins on uh, your Warp Chroma, you need to go to your steps and put in 32. And for your from Z dist, you want to go 1.001, and that's no. Nope. In your brightness, you want to go 1.2. In your warp X, you want to hit reflect, and warp Y, you want to hit reflect. And that's about it there. Now put pull down your uh, clip. And go back to time remapping. Go to the first frame of your time remapping, and put a keyframe on from Z disk and from rotate in your warp chroma, and then go to the clip where he's just uh, the keyframe where he's just zoomed in, and you want to make your from Z disk 1.591, and your from rotate you want to make it 10. So now. It goes out and rotates, just like in my preview. Now you want to hit E on your uh, adjustment layer and twirl down the warp chroma. And around the middle, you want to make a keyframe on both your, or like the middle of when he's zooming in. You want to make a keyframe on both your time remap and your Z disk and your rotate. Now hold shift and click on all three of these and then move them over a little bit. 
So this will make, uh, let me ram preview this and show you guys. This effect uh, does take a little hard on the render, so you might want to use it sparingly. But when, when you do it, it looks cool. So when, uh, when we move these keyframes over, it'll slow down the first part and then quicken up the second part. So you you guys will see in uh, this preview whenever it decides to be done. Boom. So it slowed down and then it goes quick. So this is what you want. Now go, you can twirl these back uh, down. Now go to your adjustment layer, hit T on your keyboard, and then you want to twirl this down, go to your timing mapping. And then go to the first frame on your timing mapping and make a keyframe for your opacity on the adjustment layer 100. Go one frame back and then make it zero. Now do the same for over here. Well, not over here. You want to make a keyframe at 100. Go one frame over and make it zero. So now the RGB swirl only happens here. All right, and now these colors, I'm not, I, I like them, but I'm not the biggest fan of them. So you want to color correct your clip, and I'm just going to grab the color correction I had in this one to color it, in my opinion. That looks a lot better to me, but if you don't want like that, you can always uh, put your adjustment layer of your color correction underneath the adjustment layer of the warp chroma. and it'll reverse the colors to be an RGB split on the color correction. So like you guys can see the difference when I switch that around, switch it around again, you can see the difference. So it's your choice. I prefer the color correction on top, but uh, it's your choice. So that's basically all the tutorial has to offer. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.